Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Average Joe's 3D. I'm your host Fergie. I want to show you a project I've been working on for just about two months. I got a request to make this for somebody's Christmas present. And um, I printed it out, found out on Thingverse, printed it out, looked at the pieces and parts, and I was mystified about how I was going to put it together because it takes a lot of additional hardware. Now, this is the first print I've done where you don't pop it off the build plate and you're finished. It actually took some additional engineering to get it to work. I know there are plenty of projects on Thingiverse that require hardware and finishing. This is my first. So let me show you what I've done. I made the bat symbol. That's right. It's pretty cool. Um, guy's a big Batman fan he wants to put it on his desk at work and like turn it on and flash it on the wall but I had him put it all together now lighting was my first concern I mean I could buy all the pieces or parts for LEDs but then I would have to focus the beam using special lenses it didn't take me long to realize that a lot of flashlights already have the focus lenses already on it so I went ahead and put a flashlight in the back of this and the great thing is, you can unscrew it, change the battery, and then screw it back in without having to take anything apart. Now inside the tube here, of course you have the flashlight. Um, I made a hole for it to go in back just big enough so that you could change the batteries. Over in here, I have three pieces of cardboard baffling, circles with holes cut out through the middle. Uh, they are glued together with a glue gun and they keep it centered in place. Also, I put glue around the focus ring that's on the flashlight so that the flashlight doesn't lose its focus. So everything in here is kind of glued together. It shouldn't ever have to come out again. And it's going to be that tight focus beam that you need. And it can change the battery very easily. The hardware for the stand. I did use wing nuts and a washer, fender washer, so that it's easy to put it in place. Put just enough pressure that it stops it from moving without putting so much pressure that you're going to crack the PLA. Now the best thing about this with a flashlight in the back is it defaults back heavy instead of front heavy. So it's never going to droop like this during the day. It's always going to be in the back, which is good because it wants to be focused up anyway. There we go. Now for the front. There we go. I did go to the uh, hobby store. I got some clear plastic sheeting, very thin, cut it in a circle, glued it in back, and then just super glued the symbol right over top of it. And it all seems to fit together really well. Now, when I was putting this together, with a flashlight, the focus had to be at least this long. It originally comes with a shorter area of barrel, if you want to call it that. This wasn't enough to get me a sharp Batman symbol. It was more muted because the light wasn't focused enough. So what I did was I went on to my slicer and I increased the Z but not the X and the Y. So I didn't make it proportional. I doubled my Z but kept my X and Y the same and so that gave me a nice long barrel about twice its length without having to worry about it being too big to fit the hardware. So let's check this out. Let me go ahead and turn it on. And then we'll turn off the lights. And we will see Batman. There we go. So let me pan over. And there it is. And you can shoot this all the way across the room. It stays pretty sharp. Um, the further are you away, the dimmer the room has to be, of course. So... But he works with most of the lights off and just working with his desk lamp on anyway. So for him, this is perfect. So that is my bat symbol. I think it worked really well. It took some thought and engineering. That's why it took six weeks. But I didn't want to hurry it. I didn't want to have to print it all out again because it, it took a bit to print. I will give you a tip, though. Um, when you put this together... Do not put aluminum foil on the inside of the barrel here. If you do, it will defocus the light and will come out blurry. 
So just keep it black on the inside and you should have a really sharp, distinct signal. So that does it for this episode of Average Shows 3D. As always, uh, go ahead and subscribe. The more you subscribe, the more we can do with the channel. Uh, as always, leave any comments. I read them all and do comment. I've gotten some great feedback about what to include in the remarks section. So all the constructive criticism and hints you can give me for my channel. I always appreciate that. You all have a Merry Christmas and have a great day.